Noel was born with atrophic palsy, that's his disability basically. His arms were backwards, his feet were out instead of in. They basically tell us he, he wasn't going to walk at the beginning. Since he's not able to bend his hands, he throws his hands out, but he bends his back all the way. He uses um, gravity to kind of help bring it back for him in momentum. If they say that eventually it's going to start hurting his back. You know, for him to be able to bring his hands to his mouth, it seems like a very simple thing, but you can imagine if you couldn't do that, how difficult feeding yourself and grooming yourself would be. One of the things that research has shown is that students who participate in internships or in research at the undergraduate level have a much higher rate of transfer and graduation. We had students in a 3D printing class and some of the students were interested in doing good work with the 3D printing and Oksana Pachenko said, well, let's do some research about what kinds of things individuals with disabilities might need in order to make their life better. So it's very popular right now to have project-based learning, right? So somewhere where students work on the projects, um, but with this one, we took it even one step further. I think it was Oksana came with a couple students and asked us what kinds of things they might be able to help us with. They had already had some ideas of adaptive handles. I kind of helped them streamline an idea of what would help, because that was something that would be functional for our kids. They ended up giving 200 of those holders to children's services. We wanted to outreach to more occupational therapists, so we were invited to a quarterly meeting at California Children's Services where I went with several of my students. I asked her if she had ever heard of this exoskeleton project being done with a 3D printer. And, um, and that sparked her interest. Oksana and her students just took off from there. I got involved with Oksana in this project. She mentioned that she was working with that, and I said, well, cool, uh, show me. And we went to the 3D printing lab. She showed me the, the prototypes. I instantly got super interested in it and started working right, right away the same week. Karen suggested to make a device that is rather would go on the side of his arms and simply connecting it with elastic bands. We tried it out with Noel and I think that moment when it worked, we couldn't be more happy. And now it's more in alignment, how he gets his hand to his mouth or reaching up and keeping that activity. And he has a lot less of that lordosis or that back bending. He's able to clap, he's able more to bend. Toma su bebida más mejor. I notice he's getting happier as he's learning how to use it. It's, it's a lot easier for him. It's really exciting to have been a part of something that we haven't done before at CCS. I'm just so proud, again, of you know, our faculty and students for saying, here's a human life we can help transform by what we know. We're going to upload the design of this file to our website online, so it will be free of charge for anyone to download it, to adapt it, to scale it, and use it for those that need it. I have another little girl I'm hoping to provide the same kind of experience for, so it's exciting. My goal is to come up with more projects, to get my students excited about biomedical engineering. It really made me realize how I really like helping people and applying science to help people. Just now I'm finally realizing what I want, and I ne I've never felt so certain, and I think that the experiences at Foothill College are helping me decide.